Ted Cruz, Donald Trump, and Mike Pence should all keep their asses at home. This week, it's the terrible trio of lousy, cruel, and lying politicians that like to show up at sporting events that they have no business being at. Because in case you forgot, booing is a big part of sports. Take it away, New York. Hey, you fucking beat me like that! Remember what those insurrectionists wanted to murder you? Back in 2019, it was Trump's turn. He showed up at Game 5 of the World Series between the Nationals and the Astros, a team that cheats a lot in Houston but keeps being in the World Series. You know what I'm talking about. Where there were signs that read, Impeach Trump and Veterans for Impeachment. And then they booed his ass. Do you know how dumb you look trying to smile and clap through a stadium booing you? Before that, in 2018, Mike Pence went all the way to the Winter Olympics in South Korea just to be a jerk by declining to stand and recognize athletes of the Korean Unified team as they were walking together during the opening ceremony. Mind you, this was a year after Pence decided to leave a Colts and 49ers game because, wait for it, some of the players didn't stand during the anthem. He got mad that they took a knee and then he turned around and stayed seated. During Trump's terrible run in the White House, the sports and political worlds came together like never before. And since he's been gone, you've seen championship teams like the Milwaukee Bucks and the Atlanta Braves happily visit the White House, no matter their political affiliation. But in case you forgot how bad it was, here's a quick reminder of what a few teams decided to do. The following teams all went to visit Trump in the White House. In 2016, we had Clemson and the Patriots. In 2017, there were the Penguins, Astros, Alabama, and a bunch of various non-revenue generating sports teams. And in 2018, we had the Capitals, the Red Sox, and Clemson once again. These teams all said no to visiting Trump or had their invitations rescinded or didn't get invited at all. In 2017, we had North Carolina's men's basketball team, South Carolina's women's basketball team, the Warriors, the Minnesota Lynx, and the Philadelphia Eagles. In 2018, we had the Warriors again, Villanova, Notre Dame's women's basketball team, Seattle Storm, and in 2019, even Virginia said no. That's the state where Charlottesville is. It's a lot easier when a championship team's decision to see the president isn't a political state, but it's a lot more fun when one of those guys shows up to a game and gets booed. Keep up the good work, America. My name is Karin Phillips. Thanks for watching the Deadspin YouTube channel. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see more of our videos, click over here.